So I run a group for CEO founders who are about to sell their business. And this group's been going about six months now. And in setting up this group, I was fortunate to interview quite a few founders who are interested in this programme. And one of those founders had just been in negotiations to sell his business. And what was interesting about this particular problem is he'd gone out for lunch with a competitor, thinking it was just, you know, hey, how are you doing? How are things? That kind of relaxed manner. And the CEO from the competing company said, hey, you know, look, we're interested in buying the business. Um, what's your number? And a couple of things happened at that point. This CEO, he had, he had a number, which was really interesting. Because he said, he said, yeah, yeah, I've got a number. My number's 50 million. And the CEO across the table was like, OK, that seems fair. Let's do this, shall we? And before he knew it, he was on the process of selling his business for 50 million. Now, to many of us who are watching this, who've, who've not been in that position before, that you'd be like, yes, fantastic. That's life changing money. That's that's a huge amount of money there. That's going to change my life. I don't have to work again for that sort of money. And that's absolutely true. You don't. You wouldn't have to work like that again. But when I started talking to the CEO, what was interesting is there was a niggling feeling in his head about was this the right decision or not? And so I just went into that with no judgment. OK, if it was me on the other side, of that, and he kept asking me, what would you do, Joe? And I was like, well, it's not about what I would do. It doesn't matter because everybody who'd spoken to him had said, you should do this. You should take this. You'd be stupid not to take this money. But nobody else is in that unique position that where he was in, where he was loving running the business that he was loving. There was loads of things going very, very well for him. They were doing a really big redesign, relaunch. He was really excited about all of what was going on. But what it showed him and why he turned that number down was it showed him that there was clearly potential in his business that maybe he hadn't seen that this other person could see. And that excited him more than anything else. And once we started digging into that, he completely lit up and he changed. Because when I first spoke to him, his shoulders were hunched. He was worried. He was concerned about this. Something didn't fit right with him. But as soon as he started talking about what the potential of his business was, he got really excited about that. He got really animated. He really got very excited about what he wanted to do, all this kind of stuff as well. And that was a really interesting observation. And I said, look, this, I'm seeing this in you. You seem much more excited about the potential that your business has got rather than selling it. Do you really want to sell this? He's like, I, I don't know if I want to do this. I don't, I, I'm, I'm really excited about doing what I'm doing. The business is giving me more money than I could possibly need in income. Why would I? Why would I sell this? Why would I change this situation? Why would I do this? Why would I sell when I've got this exciting journey ahead of me? And I said, well, let's flip it around. Let's talk about a different thing here. What about if you were to sell the business, what would you do next? And he went, oh, yeah, I'd probably start another business. But I don't know what it would be, but I'd start another business. And he talked about all the same things again that he was really excited about by his current business. All the things about a new business he could start were the things that he was really excited about right now, here and then. And I think that was the, the interesting thing is that it was the it was the stuff he was working on, not that end goal that were getting, was getting really excited about getting out of bed in the morning. You know, he could choose the hours that he wanted to work. He was in a really fortunate position in this business. So why change that? Why why take all of this money and effectively not have much to do? And I spoke to a second founder not long after that. Similarly, who's become a, a, a kind of investor CEO. He, he buys businesses that are struggling and comes in and relaunches them online. And he said to me, he said, look, you know, I might, I, I've got the choice to work or not. And he said, there's only so many 11 a.m. yoga classes that I can do. That's not what fulfills me. I need something to help me get up in the morning. And, and driving and building businesses is really what that is. All that the money gives you is the option to decide to do that or not, the choice to do that or not. And once you realise that in your head, that it's all about choice and, hey, any of these things are about choice, is that money can give you the choice if you want to do that or not. That's all it simply gives you. Because again, in accepting and often and taking a large amount of money for a particular business, on the other side of that, more challenges end up coming up to you. Because again, you haven't got that thing that gets you up in the morning. So for many of us out there, it might seem like a crazy thing to do to turn that sort of money down. But he did. And he's happy. And he's doing the things that he wants to be doing. And he hasn't got any regrets. And I'm really pleased I could help him come to that decision in himself. Because again, as a CEO is in that position, it's very hard to find somebody who can talk to you about that particular unique challenge that you're facing because everybody out there is telling you to do something else because that's what they would do in your situation you're in. That's not how I operate. What I want to do is I want to understand what it motivates you as a human being. And then we can make the decision based upon that rather than me telling you what I would do in that particular situation.